This is 7 National News and in our top story. The UAE Vice President and Prime Minister and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, held talks on Friday with Michelle Bachelet, the President of the Republic of Chile, as a part of his tour to Latin America. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed arrived in Chile early on Friday, along with His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the UAE Foreign Minister. At the meeting, both parties discussed a number of international and bilateral issues of mutual interest, as well as ways to expand cooperation, especially in the economic, cultural and air transport domains. The President of the Republic of Chile welcomed the Vice President's visit, describing it as historic, and that they looked forward to joint investments to achieve economic and cultural benefits, as well as to enhance trade and investment relations. And earlier, the UA Vice President also met with the President of Argentina, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, at the Presidential Palace in Buenos Aires, as a part of his official tour. Upon his arrival, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed inspected the Guard of Honor and shook hands with President Kirchner and a number of Argentine ministers before the national anthems of the UA and Argentina were played. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and the Argentine President also attended the signing of a Memorandum of Cooperation on the peaceful use of nuclear energy. The MOC was signed by the UA Foreign Minister, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan and Argentina's Minister of Federal Planning, Public Investment and Service, Julio Du Vido. The President of Argentina also accepted an invitation to visit the UAE and promised to put it at the top of her near future priorities. The UAE has called for global protection of marine resources, food security and a safer environment. That was at the Global Oceans Action Summit for Food Security and Blue Growth over in The Hague, the Netherlands. In his keynote speech at the International Summit, the UA Minister of Environment and Water, His Excellency Dr. Rashid Ahmed bin Farhad, highlighted marine protection, food security and a safe environment as the three big challenges and vital elements to the world's future. He also underscored the importance of international cooperation. The minister highlighted several of the UA's eco-initiatives, such as the enactment of a federal law in 1999 governing the proper use and protection of aquatic resource, as well as the Blue Carbon Project by the Abu Dhabi Global Environmental Data Initiative, which connects local coastal and marine ecosystem health with climate change mitigation. Additionally, in May, the UA will hold the Abu Dhabi Ascent in support of the UN Secretary General's Climate Summit in New York in September. The four-day summit gathered world leaders, including the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and the Prime Minister of Grenada, Keith Mitchell. The British Foreign Office has appointed a new UK ambassador to the UAE, who will start in July. Philip Parham will succeed Dominic Jermy, who will move to another diplomatic service appointment after the set four-year term in the Emirate. Philip Parham joined the Foreign Office in 1993 and has served as British High Commissioner to Tanzania and as Ambassador and Deputy Permanent Representative to the United Nations over in New York. He's also been posted to Washington and Riyadh and also worked for 10 years in the private sector before joining the British government, including six years in Japan. In a statement, he expressed his delight to be appointed as British ambassador to the United Arab Emirates. He stated it will be a great privilege to represent the UK in a country with whom our security, commercial and cultural partnerships are historic, wide ranging, strategic, crucial and growing. 300 distinguished number plates will be on offer through a three-day auction held by the RTA, which will include A, B, M, N, L, K and O codes, as well as numbers for vintage vehicles. The Road and Transport Authority's licensing agency is offering the distinguished vehicle registration numbers during its 26th online auction, which starts on the 29th of April. Registration for the auction started last Tuesday and will continue through until the last day. 
According to the RTA, about 56 plates comprising three, four and five digits for classic cars will be listed, in addition to four and five digit plates for other ordinary vehicles. To participate in the auction, bidders are required to visit any customer service centre or register online with the RTA and must have a registered vehicle here in Dubai. Additionally, a 5,000 dirham refundable deposit is required. In line with the UA's vision to become a knowledge-based economy, the Heriot Watt University is the latest institution to offer PhDs in the Emirate. Six students at its Dubai branch will receive scholarships to allow them to study full-time in the three main schools of built environment, engineering and management. This will provide those who are academically gifted the opportunity to waive the 68,000 dirham annual fee for the three-year doctoral programme. Dr. Amar Katka, the director of the Dubai campus, revealed that full-time students would be given priority. He also said that offering a doctoral program would attract more high-quality academics to the institution. Educators say the support of scholarships means that Heriot Watt is doing this for academic reasons, which is to help build stronger research and graduate programs. 68% of UA students do not exercise or do less than an hour a day. That's according to the latest study. A UNICEF study as a part of their initiative to fight obesity in UA children revealed that 68% of students are unfit and need to do an hour of exercise per day. It also showed that 21% of the 5,000 students did not drink milk, while 55% did not eat fruits. Experts say that the World Health Organization's recommendation of physical activity for children aged 5 to 17 is 60 minutes per day, and that physical activities for children and adolescents should be developmentally appropriate, fun and offer variety. They added that another concern is that screen time in terms of computers and the television should not exceed two hours per day. The project titled Prevention of Obesity in Children was launched in 2011 and 12, which monitored students between the age of 12 and 15 in government schools. A questionnaire on the child's understanding of healthy eating habits was also conducted, which showed that girls are more aware at 59%, while boys recorded 58%. Experts also highlighted that parents also play a crucial role in moulding their children's habits. And finally, looking to other news now, despite rising temperatures outdoors, residents and tourists will now have the chance to enjoy the first ever indoor home and garden festival. Until the 3rd of May, the Dubai Festival City Mall's Festival Square will offer a host of international artists showcasing exquisite room set designs using the latest global trends in home furnishings and accessories. One of the highlights is a room made entirely out of chocolate and will be especially crafted for the occasion by celebrated world-class artist Sid Chidiak. A bespoke home trend guide from DFC is also on offer in order to help design enthusiasts create efficient and beautifully designed rooms and kitchens. While acclaimed horticulturalist and gardening expert Jamel De Rosario will give tips to garden lovers. Prizes are also up for grabs until the 17th of May, including two at-home makeovers worth 200,000 dirhams.